Will you please welcome the Sex Pistols, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, there still are dinosaurs. I read your book, Matt. 
Just to make like over the weekend, but what was so special about the summer of 1977 in London that inspired this music to come through? Well, there was nothing special, that's why we did it. There's nothing going on. And there's kids on the street who felt they were moved that people wanted to get involved in something, but we were the forerunners of it. We were the vanguard, we were the flag wavers. And they rallied round us. And they had copied us. Mm. And still are to this day. Which is surely the point of purpose for us to be here. <clears throat> for you, Johnny, uh, what was it like uh, growing up in London uh, as uh, an Irishman? Vile. A lot better than growing up in Ireland, which is even viler. <laughs> you think that's what inspired a lot of your anger? No. I guess I was just born this way. <laughs> in the interest of putting a few, or at least one urban myth possibly in its own place, did you or did you not throw up on the old lady in the airport? No. I was an old man. <laughs> And the other, actually, actually I you think it was the singer out of ABBA. <laughs> so I'm right, yeah, it was an old you man. Threw up on... <laughs> and given that, well, uh, need to sit again. Given that you've actually, that there's been much said about the fact that the Sex Pistols regrouped in order to make the money they didn't make the first time around, and given that there was lots of figures being paid out by record companies when they dispensed with the services, who got the money? Lawyers. Yeah, lawyers and the tax man, I'm afraid. The usual. It wasn't that much money anyway. Most of it had to be given back for uh, damages, I think was the term used. Yes, many a record company office was redecorated in those days. Not to the label's liking. How much did McLaren get? Nothing. Rachel Kirk from Triple J. How much fun are you actually having this time around? Are you having plenty? Then Matt, like, you look like you've gone out of a gutter to come to this press conference. Thank you fucking much. He likes to answer him yourself, dear. <laughs> Jesus. Not... You look like you could do a shave. <laughs> I'm on the radio, I'm not on the stage. Dear. You look like Sam Yeager. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> My first question, are you having fun yet? First, yeah. Well, it wasn't until then, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who, who said a Tory we, in the band? Uh, we never pretended to be the prettiest boys in the world. This isn't about good looks here. Yeah? It's actually about talent. Whether you like it or not, the songs we wrote are still valid. They're tough little ditties and they actually mean something. They're not banal love songs. You can't really have much fun when you go around playing Anarchy in the UK and God Save the Queen all the time. What's on the rider? Water. No beer? Miles bars. Mm -hmm. Very little beer. Not much need for it. I got bored with that habit. How are relations within the band? Are they getting better as you as the two are progressives or you're still friends? Well oh, we love each other. What about you, Glenn? I mean it was I don't know, Johnny called you a mummy's boy one time, didn't he? I mean is it? It still is. Oh, I love my mum. <laughs> he's lucky he's got one, you see. Some of us don't. Glenn, with all the abuse that you've come from John over the years, um, why did you want to get back together? He was broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something to do with it. I think it was to... That's all it's this to do with this night. It was to establish what the band was about the first time around, which got missed out, which was the music. Is it really about that, or is, is it anything more than money, this tour? No, I just told you. Why are you doing it against me? There's an attitude that you've got to understand. A lot of people grabbed the name Sex Pistols and turned it into their own little whatever, their own little fantasy, and... Uh, and I find that disgusting. This is what it is. Well, it's it's about up. us. We wrote these songs well, it's together. People it's not about history, wankers rewriting history for us. Well, you either like what we do or you don't. Quite frankly, I don't give a fuck.
fuck. Well, we just need to redress the balance, you know, of all the crap that's been said over the years. And if anyone deserves a real one, this band does. All the rest don't. How much is technology affecting these shows now that you're doing it 20 years on? How different is it? I think there's a distinct lack of technology that shows you don't need all that crap. Lots of bands have acres and acres of gear on stage. They may not sound any crap. We have no gear on stage, we sound great. If you bother to look at the stage, you'll find out that it's exactly the same equipment we always use. The only real difference is that we have monitors this time. We can actually hear what we're doing. Everyone's claimed credit for the Sex Pistols at some stage. Yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? McLaren, Ross Stapleton's been named. Who? Uh, Who? Never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> a publicist used, I believe, by a virgin at the time. Uh, do you think it's it's time for you to oh, put your names forward? It's time for us to Or deny it. Well, who's, I mean, who, who really is responsible? McLaren claims it was look, HIV, it, Isn't it Grant, real Grant, simple? Grant. Just look at the record and see who gets songwriting credit. The end. So it's just That's the it. It was the songs that was responsible, not the image, not the publicity. You can have all that imagery going on, but quite frankly, if there's no content, it doesn't last very long now, does it? It didn't last very long, did it? It yeah, lasted well, long enough, and we're here now, and you're here to see us. I think that's lasting quite well. Thank you very much. Have you sold out all your It's a success that we drove you off, your fat asses, to you, isn't it? <laughs> Welcome to the Millionaires Club, boys and girls. Have you sorted out all your problems with Malcolm McLaren? Sorted out what? Your problems with Malcolm McLaren? We've got no contact with him at all. We, we haven't got a problem with him. He might have a problem with us, but... Uh, it's insignificant. It always was to me. It's irrelevant. He's just a very bad manager. <laughs> Johnny, you're... Uh, Mr. 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 Rob, Nick Penn here from the Today FM Morning Crew. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, are you anything more than just a uh, bunch of tired old rockers cashing in? Come and see us and find out yourself. Right, uh, what, uh, what plans do you have to make money when the tour ends? Don't have any. Uh, maybe a sitcom? Yeah. <laughs> Can I suggest the old ones? No? I'm not, I'm not even going to bother to deal with you and your cliches. Next. Johnny, in February, I think you said that you'd made not a penny one and you hadn't got previously any respect. What's more important to you, money or respect, or are they, are they on an equal footing? I would think respect for me. I do have a, an alternative career. I'm very happy with my public image. I'm very happy with my solo project, which will follow this tour. Respect more than the money, always. I enjoy making music. It is my <coughs> life, my hobby. Philosophically, are you offering new young pug audiences anything new that they haven't heard before? I'm giving them a chance to try this lot out. They never have before. The Pistols hardly ever toured, mostly because of uh, ignorance of local councils or governments or whatever. We were banned from just about everywhere. Now, why, I have no real idea. I don't think what we've done is that offensive. It's just honest. Maybe How that's... Extremely, extremely well, surprisingly so. To my mind, I would have thought there would have been a, a lot of animosity because the press has been extremely bitter, particularly the British press. Uh, once we got out of England, that seemed to have changed. Bitter about the fact that you reborn? Bitter about the fact that we ever existed. There's just such a, a, a resentment there. They just don't like the working class to do well at anything. You know, that's, that's the trouble. We're upstarts, you see. Johnny, you're... We challenged the system and won. Do you see anything in Australia's system of challenge? I haven't been here long enough. Well, that's your problem, not mine. I'll be gone next week. What you do is your own business. What about I'm not here to pontificate and tell you to, like, execute the government at dawn, but it wouldn't be a bad idea. Back home, then, I mean, is there stuff going on back home that, um, that you want to re-examine? In other words, write new stuff? If you mean about Britain, I couldn't give a toss about the country any longer. I left there a long time ago. Not much intention of ever living there again. What about Europe, then? No, I don't like Europe, either. It's dilapidated. 
There's a second hand vibe about all of it. Where do you like? It's worn out. I don't like anywhere, to be quite frank. I mean, that's, you know, probably my motivation. I've yet to find something that suits me. Any punk bands now that you like? Again, that's a label, it's a category, I'm not too interested well, in that. I like all music and at the same time not very much of it. What attracted you to work with the They're mates of mine. Why do you think our government should be executed at dawn? Well, that's your problem, isn't it? Because they're there. I've, again, I've not met a government that I think is doing a decent job. They're all liars. Politicians, by their very nature, have to be liars. Don't you think that's a tragedy? Or do you want it to stay that way? So is anarchy the answer? No. Anarchy is really kind of mind games for the middle classes, isn't it? It's, it's all well and fine to destroy things, but you have to have something to replace it with. Hello, I am available. <laughs> so what's your manifesto, Johnny? War and peace. In that order? Most certainly. Johnny, is your hair colour today some sort of um, no, touching memento for Australia? No. Purely coincidental. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, that. Are you still getting gobbled down by the new punks and have to do it from? No, nobody does that rubbish. How boring. Oh, I beg your pardon. There was a few bottles being thrown on some of the early gigs from a load of drunken Vikings in Norway and Sweden, but we just walk off stage if that sort of shit happens. I'm going to take the repeat. I'm not here to be spat at, you fucking idiot. Nobody wants that. That's ludicrous. That's a sign of disrespect as far as I'm concerned. <coughs> I won't tolerate it. How long will it take to repair the sperm and liver sandwiches that Glenn Mac Okay. Ha ha ha. You shouldn't believe all you read. <laughs> if there was only ever actually one Sex, sex Pistols album, how come I've got about 12 in my collection? How did they manage to just string out so few songs into so many releases? Oh, was such a long you were stupid enough to buy them all. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah because it's there. Yeah, exactly. They just the songs were in well, different work the you do it a few more people like you in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up the good work. Uh, so how's the filthy Luca live set been going? Has it been, has it been Stunning. Fun? Brave reviews all round. <laughs> like John said, we had a lot of animosity to start with, but once people started to come and see us and find out what we were all about, they soon changed their tune a bit. Are you finally making some decent money then? We're earning some money, but not loads, not millions. It's not the sort of money bands like Kiss or the Eagles would make, something like that, you know. But I think we deserve to be paid for what we're doing. But well, at least you're keeping it all for yourselves. No middlemen at all? Well, there's always a middleman in there somewhere on there. You've got to run the control? Yeah. It's all on our terms, basically, this time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this isn't $75 ago Michael Jackson on tour, is it? There is a difference there, but oddly enough, people don't seem to complain about the likes of him ripping you off left, right, and centre. Yeah. As, soon as, as soon as we're out there, though, the ones. Uh, as soon as there's a, a thing in there that somehow you, you begrudge us earning money. Yeah. Sort that out in your own head. Why the resentment? What's wrong with me being loaded? <laughs> <laughs> Think what I'd do with all that money. Think what trouble I could cause. Uh, two more camera times. Can I ask if there's ever been a time where you've had uh, any rapport with the media? No. <laughs> I can't imagine why either. I'm pleasant enough. Do you guys have an opinion on Rod Stewart's current work? <laughs> like what? <laughs> what current uh, well, work? yes, I do. And I, I'm pleased that people like him make the noise they do because it just makes what we do ever so much better. Work. You need that. You need that rubbish out there. The more of it, the better it is for us.
What are the choices Scott can Nancy on these fighting tools? We don't care, we don't know you right now, this is not important. Perhaps an irrelevant, couldn't give us a flying fart. If you did have the choice, was there anyone you would have got to open up that really would have turned you on? Brooks Stewart. Ron Farris would have been all right. <laughs> you said that uh, Sid led to the collapse of the band or, or accelerated the collapse of the band. No, when no. Sid came in, it all went kind of seedy and druggy and stupid and unnecessary and, and that was a really sad ending to something that was quite special. Uh, if we can repair some of that damage then we're doing well. I don't know if you can really get rid of that kind of aura. It's very difficult. People don't want to forget the shit. It's the way life is, isn't it? You know? Two more questions. Going on with him. He's alright. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my mind's speech. We do get on well. I think they led to their own demise, basically, by getting to the band. John is just reaffirmed. We kind of played into Malcolm's hands a little bit too much. Uh, Pete Townsend said recently uh, in an interview that you shouldn't be embarrassed, uh, Johnny, about form reforming the band for a tour that. I'm not. You should That's be quite, why I'm here. You should be quite proud. Are you proud of what you're doing? Mate? Very. Yes. Yeah, we all are. We wouldn't have done it if we didn't think it was going to be great either. I think we're all sensible enough to know that that, you know, would have been a part of shit. We wouldn't have been it. We wouldn't have done it. We I, think, if yeah. we didn't think we could deliver, you know. I don't like talking to the press. I think you might have noticed that over the years. Because no matter what I say, it gets twisted. So, really... If you want to know my value, watch me live. I think I perform extremely well because I know what I'm doing it for. I enjoy these songs. I don't go on stage and merely go through the motions. So what's ahead for the Sex Pistols after this tour winds up? I don't know. For me, it's the end. Yeah, and me. And me. And me. <laughs> well, until next time? No, I think once is enough. Get it while you can. What about recording? We haven't wrote any new songs yet. I don't know if we will. I don't think we will. Why? Because we don't sit down long enough to get up the right song. And that's the truth of it. Well, there's, no, there's no great need to write new material right in this band so what will be will be i'm not going to force myself into it are you bored with what you're doing you're also sort of like you couldn't really tell it i'm bored talking to the press yes thank you very I, much. I, I have to be honest i couldn't care less about any of you thank yeah. you pleasure it's a pleasure <clears throat> Johnny. thank you sir Please don't knock the fucking table over. I'm going to rush you. You tell him, Charlie. John, 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 this way. John, 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 John